Let us praise, praise your coming in, 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 in the new generation to our gave him who was a blessing for all the nations. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us salvation. salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, God of our fathers, who bestowed on saints Joachim and Anne this grace, that of them should be born the mother of your incarnate Son, Grant through the prayers of both that we may attain the salvation you have promised to your people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. 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 A reading from the book of Sirach. Now will I praise those godly men our ancestors, each in his own time. These were godly men whose virtues have not been forgotten. Their wealth remains in their families, their heritage with their descendants. Through God's covenant with them, their family endures, their prosperity for their sake. And for all time, their progeny will endure. Their glory will never be blotted out. Their bodies are peacefully laid away, but their names live on and on. At gatherings, their wisdom is retold, and the assembly proclaims their praise. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm. God will give him the throne of David, his father, God will give him the throne of David, his father. The Lord swore to David a firm promise from which he will not withdraw. Your own offspring I will set upon your throne. God will give him the throne of David, his father. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He prefers her for his dwelling. Zion is my resting place forever. In her will I dwell, for I prefer her. God will give him the throne of David his father. In her will I make a horn to sprout forth for David. I will place a lamp for my anointed. His enemies will I clothe with shame, but upon him my crown shall high shine. God will give him the throne of David, his father. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. They yearn for the coming, for the comforting of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested upon them. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. Amen. I say to you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Today the church provides us the opportunity to remember the grandparents of our blessed Lord Jesus, Saints Joachim and Anne, the parents of the Virgin Mary. When we're young, we live life to the full. We don't appreciate some of the things that we have as we get older. 
as we've gotten older, life becomes much more sacred. And we hold on to memories, to knickknacks, as treasures. And you can go to a house and you can see it. It could be a small item on a shelf. And a person can say where that item came from and can associate that with the memory. Or what I love is whenever you go and you meet someone and they have something that looks old to me, very old. And then they can tell me about how many generations this certain item goes. Now the item may not even work, but it's that continual passing down from generation to generation. The reason I say this is because as the early church is starting to grow, and as the early church is also starting to die, because you had martyrdom, uh, you also had people who were just dying of natural causes. But as the people who were most close to the time of Jesus are starting to die out, the younger generations are coming up and they say, hold it. We want to hold on to things that are sacred. We want to hold on to Jesus as close as we can. So everything about Jesus becomes sacred, becomes valuable. It's a treasure. And in doing that, they start to study about his foster father, Joseph, of which we're doing on the Sundays, third Sunday of the month. But at the same time, they started to study about his mother, Mary. And as they came in the 400s to appreciate Mary as the Theotokos, the mother of God, then they started to say, well, what more can we hold on as a treasure of Mary? And they started to look into the history and realized her parents, Joachim and Anne, who were blessed to have her as their child through no merit of their own, through no miraculous action of theirs, but God chose to bless them. And that's why today we remember Joachim and Anne, not for their sake, but because they remind us of Jesus, who is our most precious and valuable treasure. Now, mighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians who pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day, those who care for the sick and suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video and for the needs of you here present in our chapel this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the repose of the soul of Reverend Robert Catilia, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be your God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be your God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise of the Lord and His name. the Lord is the Church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, these offerings of our homage, and grant that we may merit a share in this same blessing which you promised to Abraham and his descendants through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift the Lord the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and right just. Us. It is surely right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength of renew and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. The great example lends us courage. The fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, thus lay down your spirit upon them, like the people, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us on to temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of our God, and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Let not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. O oh God, who will that your only begotten Son should be born from among humanity, so that by a wonderful mystery humanity might be born again from you. We pray that in your kindness you may sanctify by the spirit of adoption those you have fed with the bread you give your children. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Mass be God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy, Holy Michael, Michael, the Archangel, the us of the battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And, and to you, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the divine power, Rushing to hell, saying that all the unreached spirits who belong to this world, seeking to ruin our souls. Amen. Divine praises. Blessed, Blessed be God. God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. <coughs> Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be your holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be your glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name Joseph, the most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and his servants. 